Hey all, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another class of how to become system administrator. And in this playlist, I have already uploaded multiple videos and all the videos are fully based on the practical. We are still on page of uh, server operating system. In previous class, we talked about uh, how many objects and containers are available in server 2022. And today's agenda, I'm going to guide you about how we can convert our workgroup machine to the domain controller. This is really important for us. As a system administrator, it's our responsibility. We should know about the all procedure, how to handle the client operating system. So what I did, I have already installed one server 2022 and one Windows 10 machine that I'm going to use as a client operating system because you know that we have already discussed if you are going to create any kind of user or organizational unit or group on our domain controller. So if you want to apply any permission to the group, if you want to apply any kind of policy to the organizational unit, definitely it will impact to the number of clients which are mem which are connected with the domain controller. So that is why I'm sharing my screen and guide you about uh, the procedure how to convert our machine from our group to the domain. We'll also discuss about some prerequisites. This is really important for us. We must need to know about the what are prerequisites to, to, to convert our machine from uh, work group to the domain, right? So, I'm sharing my screen and uh, please do subscribe if you are new on my YouTube channel if you are watching my video first time. I hope you guys are able to see my screen. Let me help you to understand about the agenda of today's class. The agenda of this particular session is to convert Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine to the member of domain controller, right? To the member of domain controller. Means we are going to convert our machine from work group to the domain. So what I did before, this is our server 2022, 20, right? And we have already installed domain controller with name of cloud.com, I think, right? One client machine that I just established and the client machine contain Windows 10. Try to understand about the prerequisite if you are trying to change it, if you are trying to make it member of domain controller, you want to convert this machine from work group to the domain. The prerequisites are very basic prerequisites system must be pinged to the domain system must be pinged to each other this is really important ping to each other this is first and second important part configure manual ip address configure manual r dhcp ip address and number third Preferred DNS, right, preferred DNS and alternate DNS must be configured. Preferred and alternate DNS must be configured in client computer and uh, client PC must be logged in, client PC must be logged in using built-in administrator, built in admin all right and one more point just wanted to clear five points uh, client and server timing server machine timing must be same all right so these all are the prerequisites that you need to keep in your mind if you really want to convert your machine from our group to the domain so these all steps are these all prerequisites are mandatory for each and every client computer. So what I'm going to do, this is our uh, Windows Server 2022 and the domain controller that we established with name of cloud.com. Everything is working properly. We have already created a user in this server operating system. So let me let me check the IP address that we are getting in our domain controller machine. And according to that, we are going to convert our machine from our group to the domain open ncpa.cpl and make sure your NIC card must be uh, resolved the name. Unfortunately, no name resolution. So let me check the IP address that I'm getting from DSCP. 
192.168.1.17 this is the IP address that we are getting I think we configured a manual IP address but let me check it okay I don't want to we'll 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 configure the manual IP address but based on the bridge connection the current IP address that we are getting 175 192.168.152.175 so this is the IP address that I'm going to configure manually 192 right 152.152.175 right this is the IP address and uh, let me check the gateway gateway 192.168.152.2 okay 192.168.152.2 this is the gateway and prefer dns must be same like as the ip address that you configure 192.168.152.175 okay and the alternate dns ip address 8.8.8 .8 .8. you just need to configure it meanwhile i'm going to turn off firewall firewall.cpl mandatory to turn off the firewall of our domain controller and the client machine that we are going to convert from our group to the domain. Now back to the okay this is the IP address for uh, domain controller and this one is our client computer. So let me check the status of uh, client machine ncpa.cpl and it will redirect you on the page of ethernet let me try to open but before that let me identify the IP address that I am getting 174 not an issue cool 175 for domain controller 174 for client operating system 192.168.152.174 dot 192.168. 152.2 this is the gateway 192.168.152.175 you always use the preferred DNS of our preferred DNS of our domain controller everything is okay guys this is the first prerequisite that you need to fulfill and let me identify the firewall yes you also need to turn off the firewall and make communication Turn off firewall from client and domain machine. Both the machines must be turned off the firewall. Check communication CMD ping is space 192.168.152.175. We are able to make communication, right? So from client machine, we are able to convert, we, we are able to communicate with the domain controller. I hope domain controller also able to communicate with the client operating system so i'm not going to perform any activity just need to open cmd sysdm.cpl this is the shortcut command that you need to use to uh, open the page of system properties under the system properties which just need to click change go to the domain and type your domain name so our domain name is cloud.com you just need to type the cloud.com and user add in password required of your domain controller so you just need to provide the user add-in password of our active active domain services welcome to the cloud.com we successfully converted our machine from work group to the domain and now you can access your client machine with the help of active directory users that you created before i'm going back to the server operating system this is our domain controller our server 2022 open server manager dashboard and over a server manager dashboard go to the tools and click on uh, active directory user and computers users and yes multiple users we created gcp is currently disabled but telnet is available so what i'm going to do i'm going to use that user id and password of telnet uh, to log in our client computer because we recently converted our machine from work group to domain no i don't want to open it with the, the local administrator we just need to open with the help of telnet user because the telnet user we created on our domain controller machine yep we are able to access our client computer with the help of active active user apart from this 
uh, if you open the Active Directory user and computer part, we just need to click on computers, it will give you the information about the number of machines that you converted from work group to the domain. Guys, these all practicals are really important for each and every system administrator. If you want to become the part of IT industry, so these all are the basic things required. Uh, like in, in front of interview, you should know about the all the steps, all prerequisite, how we can convert our machine from our group to domain. This is really important. We will discuss more about the troubleshooting part related to if user unable to convert their machines from work group to domain, getting multiple types of errors. So, as an engineer, it is our responsibility, we need to resolve the problem. I think we good with the practical and topic that we completed today. And if you have any question, if you have any doubt, please drop a comment. Definitely we will reach your comment and give you a proper solution. Take care guys and do subscribe here on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. We will connect soon in another class. Take care guys. Uh -huh.